afternoon good morning everyone thank you for joining us again today we're just gonna be making a quick jacket yes we're just gonna be needing two pieces of fabric you can even go with one if that's what you have i have uh two yards here and just this is just a little scrap of fabric just scrap fabric that i'm gonna be using i'll just cut from it just to use on the front so so we have a fabric you can go with one and a half if that's what you have depending on the length you want that's how much fabric you're going to use but here i have two five yards like i said and that's what i'm going to be using so first thing we want to fold our fabric you just want to open up your fabric And find the center point of your fabric that makes it easier and you find the center I already got my center line folded here because it was folded on that line already that's the middle so I'm just gonna go with that yeah I just want to make sure you okay I'm working in a real tight space so you might not be able to see so if you got something like this like an A4 paper you just want to first find your middle just fold to find the middle of your five your paper and see and then you flip that open and try to match your and do the same on the other side okay so this is what we're trying to get we're trying to achieve this and, this. and that's what we're trying to achieve five inches down I hope you can see this that's why I'm using red so it can be visible five inches from your five inches I just like to make sure it's good so measure eight inches down remember it's the side that opens on the side that opens you're going to measure eight inches down and that's actually going to be your armhole so that depends on your size because this is the circle for your armhole so i'm using eight but it's up to you to use what size you want for your armor. This is a free jacket, so it doesn't really matter. But just so you just want to try from that five inches point to this eight inches point. You want to get a curve right over there more like you're getting a semicircle and that's gonna serve as our armhole I 
I actually saw this on on another channel. I'm going to leave her link down in the description below so you can check it out. It's not in English. Um, so I think it's I'll just find the channel and leave the link below. You might be able to understand it better from me, but from her. But um, I'm just, I saw it and I like it. So I just decided to try it. So yeah, we, she did not cut the top of it. You leave your top like that. So you just cut your circles here for your armhole. And then over here, you come and measure the length you want. But make sure in measuring your length, be sure you don't cut longer than your two folded pieces that are inside. Make sure it's just about the same length or a little bit over because you don't want part of your jacket to be, unless you want that asymmetrical look. Then you go ahead with it. But other than that, I will advise you make sure you know where your fabric stop on the inside. So mine comes all the way to Maybe like 34, but I'm going to be stopping around 32. 32 is going to be good for me. So you just want to go all around with your 32. So once you've gotten your cut, now you're going to have something like this. That's your armhole. Remember, do not cut the top. You are not cutting the top of it. Your top is going to remain like this, and this is going to be for your armhole. So uh, another thing I'm going to advise, um, unless you want a razor back, then um, when you're cutting your armhole, then you can go in real deep. But if you do not want to raise your back, do not go in very deep. Maybe you can do an inch and a half. Just after getting your armhole, you just want to hem around here. Just take it to your machine and hem it. Or if you don't, you can just fold it in like this and do your hemming. Or maybe double fold out on the outside and hem it. Or you can take... Get a piece from your scrap fabric that left from your cut. Just cut a piece and hem around the both armholes. And then that's what we're going to do now. And then we'll come back to our next step. So we did all the hemming around the arm already. Yeah. Now I'm just going to go with this extra fabric you saw me with. You don't have to, but I just thought I would make it just out of plain fabric too, just to pop it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go and sew this strap. I already cut it. As you can see, I'm just going to sew it around here, just around the entire front and back opening the collar area and just go around the entire thing. It's going to go all the way around it, all the way around. And just come to the end and then you do your hemi. That's how we're gonna do so we'll be right back. So we just wanna make a notch right here in the middle of your top, your back. Just make a little notch over there so you'll know it's the center point. And 
you want to take your plain fabric that's if you choose to go ahead with plain fabric you can just leave it like that and just hem it but i just want an extra plain color on it just to pop it up like i said so you just add this this the front of my my plain fabric it face is facing to the wrong side of my top face the right side of your fabric to the wrong side of your top the inside of your top and just start pinning from the top and we're just gonna go ahead and pin and hem all the way down to the end of our top and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so we're gonna sew both sides hem them together and after hemming it together, we're just going to go and fold this over like this and make another fold on the top here, more like you're making a collar. And just, yeah, just sew it on there to cover it. And you can see it's going to be the right side of your fabric up. To cover this fold, we're just going to fold your fabric one and then do a second fold that's gonna cover your hem and this is what you're gonna have so you just take your fabric fold it the first time and then fold it the second time and lay over your hem and that's gonna cover it up and you're gonna sew that entire line sew it all the way down so this is what we got after all that hard work, I think it came out pretty good. I hope yours look as good as this. I hope you love it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with us to the end. And this is what our model is wearing and that's what it looks like. Let me let you see the back of it. This is what the back look like, looks like. Um, so as you can see, we got the razor cut on our back. So if you don't want it this deep, you can make your your cutting just like I mentioned in the cutting. Just make sure maybe you got like one and a half. Because I went three inches in over there when cutting my, my semicircle. So that's what I got, the razor back. But if you don't want it that deep, you can go like one and a half in your circle when you're cutting so thank you hope you like it thanks for sticking with us to the end watch our other videos give this a thumb up subscribe to our channel thank you so much for your support we appreciate you